So in this part, I'm going to start discussing event analysis, like what we have in the glaucoma progression analysis found in the Humphrey machine. How it is calculated? Each location is checked. These are the first two basal tests. The value of this location is recorded with the first test and the second test and is an average. And following tests, the same location, its value is compared with the baseline. And we have a certain level. As long as the value didn't cross this level, so this is considered normal, but once the value cross it, as in this example, it crosses it for the first time, then this is abnormal and it gets a sign of white triangle. If the same location was became abnormal for a second time, then you get this triangle, half black, half white. If the location gets a third time fluctuating more than normal, then it's a black triangle. So this is one time, two times, three times, crossing the expected normal range decided depending on the glaucoma maps. So this is an example with the white triangles, half dark or full dark triangles. The glaucoma progression analysis, it uses the pattern deviation probability map for the calculation. So it is not affected by the cataract. When three or more test locations, not necessarily touching one another, show significant, significant deterioration in two consecutive tests, then a label will show possible progression. While if these three points show changes in three consecutive tests, then there will be a sign of likely progression. As in this example, if you have this for two times, you get possible progression. If it's for three times, you get likely progression. Sometimes you see this X mark. X mark means that these locations are not calculated anymore because they look, these locations are too depressed to be measured. We are not sure about the progression. Is it a real progression or is it fluctuation? Because the sensitivity of this point is depressed <laughs> markedly. <coughs> <coughs> when the whole field, the mean deviation is less than 20, the glaucoma progression analysis is not shown anymore. In this printout, these are the two basic examinations, and this is the current present examination, and this is the progression line, progression probability for the current test. If you want to see all the tests in between, you can ask for the full progression. As here, these are the first two baseline tests, and this is each of the tests in between with the progression probability analysis. When interpreting visual field progression that is confirmed by an event method, the clinician should look for the baseline fields to ensure they are reliable and appropriate for analysis. Event-based analysis require fewer visual fields, so less time to produce definitive results. Detect deterioration in the visual field more, is more quickly than in case of trend analysis. So event detect changes quicker than trend. Also, it detects local changes in certain areas of the field. Now we will go to the next part. 